Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman. Richard French is on assignment. Will join us in a moment. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday evening, September 4th. Well, the Democratic National Convention, it is now underway. Last week was the Republicans. Now the Democrats got their chance in Charlotte. ABC's Karen Travers joins us live from North Carolina with a preview of what we can expect tonight. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. First Lady Michelle Obama takes center stage tonight, and campaign officials say she'll be a character witness for the president's decision making. The Democratic convention is underway, and Democrats hope that tonight First Lady Michelle Obama can deliver a winning sales pitch. We need you to roll up your sleeves, get it done. We need you to find that one more person. Are you ready? Are you in? She's considered the president's closer, immensely popular, with a favorability rating of nearly 70%. Her primetime appearance provides an opportunity to reach out to the disappointed 2008 Obama voters, the ones who believe he hasn't fulfilled his promise of hope and change. The fact that someone as likable as Michelle Obama says that uh, Barack Obama is a good guy, that works. It's also a chance to appeal to women voters, considered to be a key to victory in November. Whatever I say here today, it's going to be, uh, at best, a distant second to the speech you will hear tonight from the star of the Obama family, Michelle Obama. Campaign aides say the First Lady would speak about her husband's values and judgment, and she has a personal way of doing it that no politician or political advisor can. Barack is so, you know, the level-headedness that you see is, is real. Also taking center stage tonight, the convention's keynote speaker, San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro. Earlier today, Castro spoke exclusively right. with ABC's yeah, Diane uh, Sawyer. How will we know if you're nervous? Yeah, well, I can guarantee you that I'm going to be nervous, <laughs> uh, but uh, I think when I get up there, I'll be ready. The president will be watching the first lady speech tonight at the White House with their daughters. Mrs. Obama said if Malia and Sasha have homework, they can skip the speech. Reporting live from Charlotte, North Carolina, I'm Karen Travers. Now back to you. All right, Karen, thank you very much for that live report from Charlotte. And speaking of live reports from Charlotte, that is going to be the bulk of RFL for this evening, a focus on day one of the Democratic National Convention from Charlotte, North Carolina. Lots of coverage as the hour continues. We're going to take a quick break here on RFL, but when we come back, we go back live to Charlotte for more up-to-the-minute convention coverage. We have Richard French live from the convention itself, and later, the Michelle Effect. We're going to talk about the impact of tonight's featured speaker, of course, none other than this woman, First Lady Michelle Obama. All convention, all the time on RFL. We're back after a quick break.